Some Black Lives Matter advocates here in Austin are celebrating the guilty verdict today. They say it offers hope for ongoing use of force cases locally. KXN's Tahara Rahman turned to an expert today to weigh in on what that verdict in Minnesota could mean here. Today is just a huge sigh of relief. Chaz Moore, executive director of the Austin Justice Coalition, has helped several Black Lives Matter marches in Austin. He hopes today's conviction of Derek Chauvin for murdering George Floyd is a sign for future cases. He tells us he was already thinking about the future trial of Austin police officer Christopher Taylor. A grand jury indicted him last month for the deadly shooting of Mike Ramos. I literally just got a text message from um, Brenda Ramos, the mother of Mike Ramos. Um, and she was, you know, elated to see the verdict. I think she's feeling re-energized. Re I think she's feeling hopeful, um, as am I. We turn to an expert on criminal law and justice for perspective. It remains rare to see um, criminal convictions of police officers for the use of force, and even rarer um, to see murder convictions for police officers uh, for the use of force. Jennifer Lawrence says while the verdict out of Minnesota has no legal bearing on use of force cases here, she thinks it's a learning moment for many prosecutors. Noting what sorts of strategies seem to be persuasive, um, learning about what experts are potentially more or less persuasive witnesses. Bahira Rahman, KXAN News. Officer Christopher Taylor's grand jury indictment is the first known indictment of an Austin police officer for first degree murder resulting from a use of force incident. That's according to the Travis County District Attorney's Office. There is no timeline for when that trial will begin.